And ladies and gentlemen, we are live. How are we all doing? Happy New Year. Plain or new if you wish it, Dave shit. So um, you're all very welcome. Just before we get going, I'll just make a, a few sort of housekeeping announcements. Firstly, uh, thank you very much for joining us at our new date. Uh, anyone who's familiar with the session will be more likely to seeing us um, on the first uh, Saturday of the month. We're now moving to the third. Uh, hope that doesn't cause too much of an issue uh, for anybody here. Um, so, uh, like I say, I mentioned these at the top of each of these sessions, but just in case we have any newcomers, I will uh, get them out of the way again. Uh, we are dealing with uh, burgeoning technology here on Zoom, so I just urge everybody uh, to be patient. Um, I promise if uh, we, we bound together, or we'll get through any technical glitches that might occur and have a great time by the end of it. Uh, you'll notice that you are all muted, um, and that's because it sort of has to be that way in order to keep this thing under control. And so we're we'll running this in a one singer, one song format. Uh, in terms of how we select singers, um, I think this evening we have 88 singers uh, queued up. The likelihood is we will not get to all of them. However, I will move around the room and do my best to get a cross section of everybody. Um, like I say, chances are we won't get to everybody, but the way we do this is we tend to reward loyalty. So no singer who shows up two months in a row will go without singing. So uh, if you were here last month and didn't get a chance to sing, could you please hit the raise your hand button? But only if you were here last month and didn't get a chance to sing. Uh, this evening, we are welcoming a special guest, uh, Cara Morlum, Brian McLean, a very good friend of mine. Everybody give Brian a virtual wave there. Uh, Brian will be known to most everybody here, and uh, I'll say a bit more about him later on. Um, yeah, just as the session moves along, please feel free to use the chat bar down here and uh, say hello if you want to discuss the origins of songs, send words of encouragement to your fellow singers. Uh, it's a good way to do it. Um, and I'm going to call the first three singers. They are Bernie Dermody. After that, we will have Alison. And third up, we will have Mick Keeley. So, Bernie, I'm going to go and unmute you now. Ask to unmute. Might have to accept my unmuting, Bernie. Bernie, how okay. are you doing? Yeah. Great, Dara. Had you, had you a good Christmas yeah. and New Year, considering? I did. And you cannot complain. Excellent. Considering stuff. all the things that are going on, things went extremely well. Yeah. And you're gonna have a have a song for us. I have another song for you now. I will. Um, I'll do Fremantle Bay. Great stuff. It's by a guy called John Hogan, actor Bonner, I believe. Oh, my name hasn't mattered for many a day. I was born on the west coast of Clare. By the time I got married and had my own land, there were many who envied me there. Our home was contented, the years quickly passed. We had four lads to carry our name. Then one year the crop failed and the hunger set in. I was certain that I was to blame. And often I think about Doolan and my college a lifetime away. Though I'm chained here and bound, my heart can't be found in this prison on Fremantle Bay. It was many an evening I stood by the door and looked out where our crops used to be. But the pain deep inside when I looked in the eyes of our children, it drove me to steal. And often I think about Dulan and my cottage a lifetime away. Though I'm chained here unbound, my heart can't be found in this prison on Fremantle Bay. It was raining the night that the sheriff's men came 
and the judge gave his verdict next day. For the lamb that you've stolen, you'll have to be sent to a colony where you will stay. And oft times I think about Dula and my cottage a lifetime away. Though I'm chained here and bound, my heart can't be found in this prison on Fremantle Bay. Oh, the sun, it beats down from a merciless sky. And the rocks, they dig into our feet. For the work's very hard, and there's never a break for unfortunate men such as me. My crime costs a shilling and sixpence to mend, but it sent me away across the sea. And now I must live out the rest of my days in this land that means nothing to me. And often I think about Dulan and my cottage a lifetime away. Though I'm chained here and bound, my heart can't be found in this prison on Fremantle Bay. Chennai. Absolutely gorgeous, Bernie. Could not think of a more fitting start that uh, singing that good will get us for the winter. No doubt about it. <laughs> uh, OK, uh, I'm going to head over now to Alison. Alison, I'm going to ask to unmute you and you have to accept my unmuting. Alison, how are you? Good. Now, now, now I, I'm, I'm a terror for m my memory now, but you're, you're somewhere in and around the Nile. Is that right? Yeah, just beside the shame of Great stuff. So, great, great stuff. Well, you're 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 more welcome than most, I would say. Everybody's welcome, but you know, some some slightly more than others. Uh, what are you going to sing for us, Alison? Um, the Sweet Banks of the Moy. Gorgeous stuff. In your own time. One day as I went on my rambles from Swin. To sweet Ballylee, I met with a maid as I rambled, and her name it was Mary Maggie, and she sighed for the rights of old Ireland. My God, I think my brave Irish boy. He is now in a prison in Portland. Far from the lovely sweet banks of the Moy. I quickly approach this fair maiden, asked her what was the cause of her woe, and what was the cause of her misery that forced her from her home to go and she said for the rights of old Ireland my God have it my brave Irish boy he is now in a prison in Portland Far from the lovely sweet banks of the Moy. Don't you talk of your sweet sixty seven. We had brave men and true men also. There was 
was young, Peter Carney, God rest him. He died in Killarney, you know. He was trailed by my dying male for David, round the valley and plains of Aphermoy. And that's why he is a prisoner in Portland, far from the lovely free banks of the Moy. And now to conclude and to finish, I hope that the day will come soon when those cruel androids and bailiffs from the eyes of St. Patrick must run. We will green and gold banners and we'll raise them for Ireland on high then we'll drink to our brave Michael David from the lovely sweet banks of the Moy. Yeah. Absolutely lovely, Alison. Thanks so much for that. Keep her lit. Uh, okay, we're going to move over now to Mick Keeley. Mick, I'm going to ask. Oh, we have you. Mick, how are you? Not too bad, Dara. How is it going? Not too bad. Is the weather any better up there in Tallaght than down here? <laughs> not really, no. Not really, not really. It hasn't been nice at all, no. Well, I can only imagine that the singing's better. What have you got for us? <laughs> okay, we'll try uh, the humours of Donny Brook Fair. Perfect. Says on you broke steer, all you sons of Parnassus, poor painters, poor poets, poor newsmen and knaves. To be where the fun is, that all the fun surpasses the sorrow and sadness of green errand slaves. Oh, Donny broke jewel, full of mirth is your quiver, where all flock from Dublin to gape and to stare. And to elegant bridges without air a river, success to the humours of Donny Brook Fair. Oh, you lads that are witty from famed Dublin City, and you that in past times take any delight, to Donny Brook Fly for the times drawn nigh, where fat pigs are hunted and lean cobblers find. When made so swift, they run for a new shift. Men muffled in sacks for a short day there. And there's jockeys well booted and horses sure footing to keep up the humours of Donny Brown Fair. Well, the mason, he comes with his line and his plum, the sawyer and carpenter, brothers in ships. There's carvers and gilders and all sorts of builders, with soldiers from barracks and sailors from ships. Confectioners, cooks, and the printers on bunks, the stampers of linen and weavers repair. There's widows and maids and all sorts of trades to join in the humours of Donny Brown Fair. There's tinkers and nailers and beggars and tailors, the singers of ballads and girls of the sylph, with Barrick Street Rangers, the known ones and strangers, and many that no one can tell how they live. There's horsemen and walkers and likewise frill talkers, and swindlers that devil themselves they won't dare. There's pipers and fiddlers and danders and diddlers that meet for the humours of Donny Brown Fair. 
There's dogs that are dancing and wild beasts are prancing with night bits of paint and red, yellow and gold. Toss players and scramblers, showmen and gamblers, pickpockets are plenty, the young and the old. There's brewers and bakers and jolly shoemakers with butchers and porters and men the couldn't hair. There are mountebanks grinning while others are sinning to keep up the humours of Tony Brung Fair. So lads and young lasses, come fill up your glasses with whiskey and send the full bumper around. To get out in the tent till your money's all spent and spin like a tom till you fall to the ground. Oh, Donny Brown capers, oh, sweet cat gun scrapers that bother the vapors and drive away care. For what is more glorious, there's not more uproarious. Hooray for the humors of Donny Brown Fair. That's it. Gorgeous stuff, Mick. Brilliant. No, you you took me right there. I, I could I could I could hear the skulls <laughs> clattering off the walls. <laughs> Great stuff. Cheers, okay. mate. Take it easy. Uh, we'll head over to Mr. Michael Steen now in Portland, Oregon, or just outside of Portland, Oregon. Michael, we have you. How's all over hey, there, birthday, my boy? What's up? What did you call me? In case no one knows, oh, it was geez. just Dara's thirtieth birthday. Everybody, wish him a happy birthday in the chat. We love you, Dara. Thanks for hosting the call. Happy birthday. No worries, no worries. It's a good thing. In, in, I don't know if it's the same where you are, Michael, but on your birthday in, in Ireland, your friends get to give you as many thumps in the arm as it is your years of your age. So uh, people can give me virtual boxes in the gob or whatever. But uh, anyway, yeah. have you got a song for us? Yeah, uh, yeah, I have, I have one here. Um, and I'll sing it for you. Thank you. I am a rambling Irish man in Ulster I was born in and many the happy hour I spent on the banks of sweet Loch Erin. But to live poor I could not endure so like others of my station to America I sailed away and left this Irish nation. Right tent in the na, tent in the na, right tent in the no, in the nandy. The night before I went away, I spent it with my darling. Three o'clock in the afternoon till the break of day I next morning. And when at we were going to part, we linked in each other's arms. And you may be sure I am very sure it wounded both our charms. And was on a Sunday morning as Phoebus was a dawning. Was on that day we sailed away on the brig they called Eliza. And four or five of our best men by fever were compounded, and seven more jumped overboard, were willfully drowned. The tent in the na, tent in the na, right tent in the no, in the na. For we're the boys, no, no, no. When we arrived on the other side, we were both stout and healthy. 
We cast our anchor in the bay, going down to Philadelphia. So let every lad link with his lass, blue jackets and white trousers. And let every lass link with her lad, blue petticoats and white flounces. And in the na, and in the na, right and in the no, in the nanny. For we're the boys that can't be beat, and yet no danger fearing was on that day. Hold up, hold up. Um, for we're the boys that can't be beat, and yet no danger fearing was on that day we to man and sailor. We gave three cheers for old Ireland. It being our former quarters, like a flock of sheep, we strayed away the hands and we parted. Right, right, Thank you very much, Michael. That was uh, that was rousing. It would lift a, lift any heart in a January day. Thank you very much. Uh, great. We shall move over now to Anne Skelton. Anne, I'm going to ask to unmute you. And after Anne, we're going to go over to uh, Eamon McCarthy, I believe his name is. Uh, so. Uh, Anne, I've asked on YouTube to accept my unmuting. We have you, Anne. How are you? Hey, great, Tara. Happy New Year to everybody. Happy and uh, thank you. Thank you for asking me. Um, so I'll try a song that I got from Roisin White. And I think Roisin is probably maybe looking in there. She, I think, has joined or intended to anyway. Uh, I got it from really herself and Rosie on one of those um, weekends that we were somewhere. And uh, it's a song from the Spanish Civil War called Lovely Sally. <clears throat> You broken hearted heroes that love your liberty. I pray you pay attention and listen unto me. It's about a bold militia man who has lately volunteered. He has left his lovely Sally, the girl that he loved dear. Lovely Sally, she conveyed him as far as Belfast. They could go no farther, they had to part at last. With loud lamentation, she cried out on the shore, saying, Jimmy, lovely Jimmy, will I ever see you more? As they were discoursing, he heard the bugle sound. They kissed, shook hands and parted, said he, I must be gone. With his pocket handkerchief, the tears he did wipe away, saying, go home, lovely Sally, to the county of Armagh. All that long night 
told her she thought her love to see no more. That he'd been acclaimed victim all on the Spanish shore. How can I live contented and he so far away? With him I'd hoped to live and die in the county of Armagh. And so to conclude and finish, we will sing and drink again. To the volunteers of Ireland who have lately gone to Spain. For there the boys that fear no noise, where the murdering cannons roar. With hearts of steel we'll stand the field all on the Spanish shore. Carnaghi. Oh my God, and a, a bit of warning before you break everybody's heart next time, please. That was absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. Thank you, Thank Dara. You so Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Okay, uh, we will run over to Mr. Oh, am I? Up? I'm unmuted. Am I? God. We'll run over to Mr. Uh, Eamon McCarthy now. Eamon, I'm going to ask to unmute you, and you have to accept my unmuting. We have you, Eamon. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Mick. How are you? Not bad at all. Not very bad at well. all. Better, better for this, I have to say. Mm -hmm. What are you going to sing for us? Well, I'm talking to the focal force again. I own all of them, I'm going to go to the father of Jesse Gorkic. I'm going to go to the father of Jesse Gorkic. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, don't be quite like Johini or Rosina Softy or <laughs> anybody like that, but I'll give it my best shot. Na habre, habre. Don't forget it right now. Margrad and Kedek and Tu Eleanor. Start to leave us, we know. From me, Mermoon. Margot, and tell who small kids are. Stuart's the shen of our mirror. song. So is the shes me to fall. Our cones of words of your big animal. Maristas, Marioling, Nagona, Eleanor. Oh, no. Sibu e kega malakshi on carpur on mons. Sibu e le kega dogakshi on carpur on mons. Sibu e le kega ak ninyering me marshi gromu kri. Small Eleanor, oh no. He said, you could do no one wanted to. 
Uh, okay, excellent stuff. Now we're going to move over. I did give him a little bit of a nudge in the comments. Hope he saw it. To Fergus Cahalan. Fergus, going to ask to unmute you. We do we have you? We have you, Fergus. How are you? I'm I'm down the road from you, Dara. You are you are indeed. You know, I know where you are. I was asking I was asking how you were. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I, I I didn't see your comment. I'll just would I just sing happy birthday for you, or would that be uh... Uh, that 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 would be mo- most inappropriate? Uh, a, 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 a different song of your choice would be great. Okay. Um, do this word. Oh, I'll leave the shrewdy box out. You gave out to me before about that. There, <laughs> you said it sounded like a dishwasher or something. Shrewdy boxes are most welcome. I was. I was <laughs> um, let's give it a go. When first to this country a stranger I came I set my affections on a maid that was young In being young and tender her waist small and slender Kind nature had formed her for my overthrow Oh, on the banks of the ban, where I first beheld her, she appeared like fair Juno, or a Grecian queen. Her eyes shone like diamonds, her hair softly twining. Her cheeks were like roses, or blood drops in snow. It was our cruel parents who first caused our variance All because I am poor and of a low degree But I'll do my endeavour her favour to win Although she has come from a rich family my name is Delaney, a name that won't shame me. Oh, if I had saved the money, I'd have plenty in store. But drinking and courting, night rambling and sporting, are the cause of my ruin and absence from home. Oh, but now I have gained her, I'm contented for life. I'll put rings on her fingers and gold in her ear. We'll live on the banks of the lovely Ban River. And in all sorts of splendor, I will style you, my dear. Happy birthday, Dara. Oh, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous stuff, Fergus. A far, a far more fitting birthday present than, than saying happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks for that, friend. That was great. Uh, okay, we are going to move over now to Pippa Noble. Pippa, I shall ask to unmute you. 
You have to accept my unmuting. We have you, Pippa. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> Happy New Year. Yes, yes. We just got rid of the snow here, so so it's um, very exciting. Yeah, the, the cars go on the road again. Anyway, I hope everybody's keeping well. Yeah. So um, I've got a, a song tonight, which is it's a sort of moving on, a relationship moving on song. So can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, we can indeed. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Oh Johnny, Johnny, but long is bonny. A little while when it is new, but when it's old love, it groweth cold love and fades away like the morning dew. Oh Johnny, Johnny, but you are nice, dear. In keeping company with me so long You are the first love that e'er I had love So kiss me, Johnny, before you gang One kiss of my lips you ne'er shall get love For you have caused me so to sigh Nor shall I grant you that sweet request, love, which oftentimes you did me deny. If you would grant me that sweet request, love, my heart on you, I might then... Oh, excuse me. <coughs> One moment, I'll be back. Take your time, Pippa. You're among friends here. <coughs> If you would grant me <coughs> that sweet request, love, my heart on you I might then bestow. But as good a lover as you may come, love, so I'll not hinder you for to go. For I have stepped the steps of love, dear. And I have stepped a step too low Was it to be done that I have tried It would never be done by me, I know It's over the moss, you need not cross, love And over the moor, you need not ride for I have gotten a new sweetheart, love, and you may go get yourself a bride. For love does come, and love does go, like a little small bird unto its nest. Were I to tell you, love, all I know, love, they're far away that I love the best. There you go. <laughs> Lovely stuff, Pippa. Thanks so much. And all the best uh, over your side of the pond. Uh, Thank you. Please, God, we'll have an opportunity to meet in one room before long. <laughs> they ever let us out again. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, okay, going to head over now to uh, South Armagh via Leak Slip, and we're going to ask Michal Quinn, then Benry Quinn, to sing for us. I've asked and meet you. Michal and Benry, how's the form? Hey, my darling. Thanks for asking. No problem. <clears throat> All good here. Hope everyone's fine. Uh, Seeing as it's your birthday, McDonald, you can you can think this is about you if you want. <laughs> <laughs> of late I've been captivated by a handsome young man, and I'm daily complaining for my own. Darling John, confusion consume them who say I'm not through, through green groves and in meadows 
I'll go roaming with you. My love is as fair as a fine summer's day. His breath is as sweet as the new Is I shine like diamonds when exposed to the sun, and he's fairer than the flowers on the Next fair day, I get a letter from a handsome young man and twenty sweet kisses from my own darling John. We'll go. Shielded and sheltered by the dream and my love he is going to sail o'er the foam and for his long absence, I'll never cease to mourn. I'll sing with the songbirds till the spring does come on. Then be shaded. And sheltered by the green and dawn. So come all you pretty fair maids and get married in time to some handsome fellow who will keep up your prime. Beware of winter evenings when cold breezes blow on. And be shaded and sheltered by the dream and done. Happy birthday there, my darling. I'd never, I'd never leave you like that, Michal. Never. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Away you go, Ben, in your own time. Change the tempo a wee bit. <laughs> well, when I was young and fond of fun, like Nanny's a dash and blade, it was my delight, both day and night, to court a handsome maid. With her I walk, with her I talk, like thousands done before. But it's little I knew she'd prove one through young kid from Valnamore. Twas her father Frank that I may thank for being in this state. Although I was poor, I couldn't endure to court his daughter Kate. I went to Kate and to relate her sorrows to implore her of what will I do but follow you, young Kate from Balnamore. Well, she said, my dear and dearest, 
I'd like to be the soldier's bride, like a true and faithful comrade, fighting by your side. So I went away without delay and I joined the 44. So now today I'm miles away from Cape, from Balnamore. Well, it been six months and after a letter I received. I thought it was for comfort, but my poor heart was grieved. The first few lines of it I read, it was cruel or and or. She's gone to be wed to her farmer son from the town of Balnamore. So come all you gay and dashing lads, take a warning on from me. Don't put too much confidence in any wee lass you see. They'll tell you this and they'll tell you that and they'll do as they done before. And they'll curl their hair and leave you there like Kate from Balnamore. <laughs> <laughs> lots of lots of deceiving young men and women in that house. I don't know. I don't know what's going on up there, Lisa. Yeah. Great stuff, guys. Great to hear from both of you. And thanks, Dara. Thanks, yeah. sir. No problem. Okay. Um, I gave our next singer a little heads up, but I'm not sure if he saw it. Mr. Andreas Schultz, if you would uh, so grace us with your wonderful voice, I've asked to meet you. We have you, Andreas. Yeah. How are you? Thanks, Dara. And uh, yeah, happy belated birthday. No problem. So uh, <clears throat> try this one. Um. <clears throat> me in spring and the small birds were singing down by on shady arbor I carelessly did stray where the thrushes they were singing the violets were springing to view Front of us talking, a uh, while I did delay. He, she said, My dear, don't leave me for another season. The fortune may be pleasing. I'll go along with you. I'll forsake friends and relations and across this Irish nation and to the bonny barn banks forever I'll bid adieu. He said, my dear, don't grieve me, or yet annoy my patience. You know I love you dearly, though I am gone away. I'm going to a foreign nation. Is a plantation to comfort us hereafter, all in America. <coughs> then, after a short while, if fortune does be pleasing. Twill cause them all to smile at how late gone away. We'll be happy as Queen Victoria, all in her greatest glory. We'll be drinking wine and potter all in America. The landlord and their agents, the 
bale is and there be gulls, the land of our forefathers they forced us to give o'er. Now we sail it on the ocean for honor and a promotion. And parting with our sweethearts, tis them we do adore. If you were on your bed lying and thinking on dying, one sight of the bonny band banks. Your sorrows you'd give o'er, or if you were run hour down in yon shady bower, <coughs> pleasure would surround you. You'd think on that no more. So fairly well, sweet craggy hill, where often times I roved. I never thought my childhood days I'd part you any more. Now we're sailing on the ocean for honor and promotion. And the bonny boats are sailing way down by Durant Shore. Thanks. Good heavens, good heavens, address. I I'm not sure that's even legal, but uh, but 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 ve very glad it, that it occurred. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. I, I miss you, friend. I miss you. Same here. Great stuff. Okay, uh, we're gonna move over now to Ms. Annie Hughes. Annie, I'm gonna ask you on mute you. And we have you, Annie. How are you? Hello. Yeah, I'm really good. I'm good. Thank you for asking me or shouting at me in the chat so i'd notice it no problem all caps uh what are you gonna sing for us happy birthday by the way um i'll do uh, uh oh that was a hard act to follow by the way that was lovely andreas as has all of the singing been um okay right. my young love said to me my mother won't mind and my father won't side you for your lack of calm then she stepped away from me and this she did say it will not be long now till our wedding day then she stepped away from me and she moved through the fair so funny i watched her move here and move there then she made her way homeward with one star away like the swan in the evening moves over the lake the people were saying no to where were well but one had a sorrow that never was said and 
she swelled up, she passed with her good sons, her geese. And that was the last that I saw of my dear. Last night she came to me. My dead love came in so softly she came that her feet made no din. Then she laid her hands on me, and this she did say, It will not. Lovely, lovely stuff, Annie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, now, we, we, have a, we have a small bit of a predicament. Well, I don't view it as a predicament. There was some chat going on in, in, in the chat just there. And uh, believe it or not, Lynn Phipps and Doug Huggins had actually planned on singing She Moved Through the Fair uh, in some sort of a transatlantic Zoom collaboration. Uh, I'll allow them to unmute themselves and maybe maybe sing it. I'd love to hear, hear it still, uh, or they may have something else. It's up to them. But uh, the floor is yours, Doug and Lynn. <laughs> Uh, that that was a wonderful version, and I, I would hate to follow it with the same song. <laughs> um, Lynn, are you there? Yeah, I'm. I, I don't know whether we could do it later in the evening, or should we do something else? <laughs> why don't we do uh, no, Why don't we do Norland Wind? We've done that before. All right, maybe next That's time right. we could sing our version of "She Moves Through the Fair." Oh, it was going to be a world premiere this evening, <laughs> but there it goes. <laughs> Marahai. All right. Uh, Norland Wind, poet by poem by Violet Jacob, melody by what Jim Reed, I believe. Mm. Oh, tell me what was on your road, ye roaring Norland wind, as you come blowing through the land. That's never free my mind. My feet they travelled England, but I'm dying for the north. My man, I saw the cellar tides run up the first of war. I wind, I ken them weel in you, and find they fall and rise. And fain I'd feel the creeping mist on yonder shore that lies. But tell me as ye pass them by, what saw ye on your way? My man, I rock the roving gulls that sail up in the day. But sighing nothing, leaving wind, afar ye come to fife. There's muckle eyes ayant the tae, that's mere to me nor life. My man has wept the anger's brains that ye have not trod for years. Ah, wind, for a hameless loan that canna see for tears. And far up in the anger's thrust, I saw the wild geese flee. A lion's gain a beaten wings with a haste towards the sea. And I, the cry of a voice, have trailed ahint them on the edge. Oh, wind, hey, mercy. 
had your wished, for I dare not listen more. Lovely stuff. Well, listen, if, if that's how well you guys sing when you're caught off guard, uh, I, I, I shudder to imagine what it would sound like if you'd sung what you prepared. That was gorgeous stuff, guys. Thanks so much. Okay, Thanks. well, uh, a little ahead of schedule, uh, we're going to move now to uh, our guest. Thankfully, I was able to give him a bit of warning. Um, Brian Mucklin will be well known to uh, most anybody in the traditional singing world, not just as a member of the wonderful folk duo, uh, Ye Vagabonds but also as a broadcaster, as an organizer with the uh, Rosh Arua Festival and many more besides. He is a, a very dear friend of mine and uh, a man I relish the opportunity to hear sing any time I get the chance. Brian, I'm going to ask to unmute you and you'll have to accept my unmuting. We have you. Are. How are you, brother? He's in great now. Um, oh, it's great to hear you all. It's so good. Um, I've been sitting here. I, I'm up in the mountains in Wicklow and kind of just singing away on my own but you you just miss hearing other people singing um and it's been so good to hear you as all it totally warms my heart now to say um it's gas that uh, the two people that th the three of you nearly all wanted to sing uh she moves through the fair just now as well because that was one of my granddad's favorite songs so um he's obviously tuning in there somewhere but um i'm gonna sing i want to sing a song which is a the first one I'm going to sing is a song that comes from Iron Moor, uh, from where my mother's from. Um, it's one that I just learned recently. It was written by a man named Pete Sweeney, um, who is an Iron Moor man who, I think Pete probably died in the mid 70s sometime. Um, but he would have been over and back to Chicago a lot. He was, he was the same age as my grandfather. They went to school together. Um, and he's, he was much loved by everybody in the island and one thing that's i guess i find him to be a very interesting character um he wrote a lot of songs and he wasn't that really a well-known singer around the place but he wrote a lot of songs very prolifically um and i think his songs are traditional songs they're they're quite formulaic he he reuses the same lines that he kind of come up with himself and um i've heard of stories about pete being able to write a song in 20 minutes about somebody you know he would just give it to him so this is one that he wrote called My Hain Tuga Heron. Um, it was written about a true story about a, a man who, who was in love with a, a girl in the island and she got sick. It's likely it was cancer that um, she had. And she died before they could get married. And he just, he emigrated to Chicago and just died broken hearted. Um, the, the song is called My Hain Tuga Heron Tur Mavanacht Anon. means if you go to Aaron, um, take my blessing with you. Um, the last line of the song is one of the saddest lines of any song I've ever heard. It's Sanui Leshis Trenshir Nachdigan Machre, the Wad Wado Aaron, Sanui Kushna Tre. So, um, in the grave with the stranger who doesn't understand my torments, far, far from Aaron, and the grave by the beach. Um, so, anyway, this is Mahain to Gaheran. Mahin <laughs> Oh, hori gaherin, bodali agli. Avi mishog agasi mimra. Da kali maserin, hogdu agra. Vim angel aposu akmir hamikamra. Fwe. Fwer shishan latram, agus fwer me akra. Nur a khwishi na kele bakra chamakri. Vahiri na grenya, imeshe mohi. 
Hoimen, carry on with a, another new song to me anyway um, this is one that I first heard from my good friend Andreas Schultz um, who sang there a little while ago um, and it's one that I remember I remembered it so well after I heard Andrew singing it or after I heard Andreas sing it the first time um, and I asked him where he got it from and he learned it from Charlie McGonagall um, from in the show um, this is a this is, a, I guess, an eviction and emigration song. It's kind of a double whammy. So I um, can't remember what key I'm going to be singing this one in. But see how that goes. Farewell, my native countrymen and friends, both one and love. My lad lies in America to either rise or fall. From my cabin I was evicted and then compelled to go. I and leave her centered island where the green shamrocks grow. I owe the landlord two years rent. I wished I owed him more. The day the bloom and bale of nailed the notice on our door. My weak and aged mother, it grieved her sore to go. I leave the house. My father built some sixty years ago. She lingered for a little while. She fretted and she died. But the only consolation, she sleeps at father's side. By night and day for them I pray, no matter where I roam. Till I return to Erin's shore, across the raging foam. For it's hard to part with those you love, when in your heart you know that you leave the sod. Your father trod some sixty years ago. Now if I get to America and God spares me my health, if fortune ever favours me, I'll be a man of wealth. I'll sail up all my money and back home to her I'll go. And together we'll live happily 
where the green shamrocks grow. Well, hooray, me boys, the sails are set and the winds are blowing fair. We'll sail for castle gardens, in a few days we'll be there. With a bunch of blooming shamrocks, St. Patrick blessed of all. There will be welcome in America with friends from the nation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's uh, nice to see a few friends from Inishon as well in here <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to sing another song from Aaron Moore um, this is one that I learned from the singing of uh, of Rasha Ban Vikriana of uh, Rasha and Oran um, there's a I found a there's a, a much longer version of the song that um, is sung out in Tory Island um, but this is just it as, I, as I've learned it from Russia so far anyway um, it's a song called Myra Wan um, it's a kind of a funny one it's kind of, it, it hits all the, the, be the best tropes of, of great I old Irish romantic songs um, it starts by saying that your man he says he, he loves Myra Wan so much that he'd marry her even without cows um, it's a. Uh, I'm waiting for Hallmark to put that one on a Valentine's card now someday. But um, the uh, in the middle of the song anyway. He by the time he gets to the middle of the song, he's lost in a foggy place, um, and he's asking her to help him help him around. And um, he says he'll he'd be feasting with her at the the high table of the king, and he'd show her to all the fancy towns and stuff. But then by the end of the song, he takes an awful turn and. He says that he's just dying sick and uh, he needs her to look after him. Um, so he's a bit of a pathetic character, really. But um, at least he doesn't care about the cows. Um, so anyway, <laughs> it's, uh, it's very much an Iron Moore song. Um, it's, uh, the first line is a hewling a young iron lad that's parched and woolly war. So this is my one uh, from the singing of Rosh Hashanah. So get me note here again. Mm hmm. Rain go fly the major do no run. The ear hing bone a spray at a mola worker quid Oh, my time sing the my rowan sneer car a serpy do run. I <laughs> Om Rain Him a Goliath Lord Gallery. Well, you met the fear, G. Marvima brought to Chin. Is she a friend and your dog and then a meal to fire in a layer, a brack knock jig on king. Oh, my time, singer, the myro ones need cancer be one. That's a. Um, 
that's a relatively short song, um, which the next one isn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, you have to get them in at some stage, you know. Um, this is a song that uh, I just I started learning a few months ago. Um, I had a a very uh, an amazing and uh, a wonderful experience, I suppose, um, with a dear friend of mine just a few days before he died. Um, who I, I got to I got to spend a, a couple of hours. Um, singing a couple of songs and having the crack and stories and all the crack. Um, and I sang the song that I sang, the first song I sang to him that afternoon was a song called Her Mantle So Green. Um, one that myself and my brother have been singing for a good while and that um, Michal Quinn and a few other people have added to, I suppose, here and there. But um, the uh, I sang that to him and then he said that he remembered hearing that song up in Rosh's house. And, and I said, that's interesting. And then I was, it was only a couple of days later um, after he died that it, I was, I was listening back to recordings of, of us sitting around singing songs and chatting and stuff. And he mentioned this song um, in one of those chats saying he remembered Rosh was singing it. And when I went and looked into it, I realized that this was actually more or less the same story as her mantle so green, just told in a different way. Um, it's got a few different twists in it, but um, I think this might be the song that he was talking about anyway, um, as far as I know. It's um, it's a song called The Pride of Glencoe. Um, I learned it from, interestingly enough, another Aaron Moore connection. I first went and learned it from a recording of a guy that was recorded on Beaver Island in Lake Michigan, um, which is a place where a lot of Aaron Moore people ended up after they emigrated in the, the mid 19th century. Um, and that fellow's name was John Green, and he could well have been a relation of Rosh's husband. Um, but anyway, the uh, I kind of ended up learning the bones of it from Donald Maguire, as well as from that fellow John Green, and um, a few other places. So anyway, um, it was the Pride of Glencoe. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As I went a-walkin' one evening lovely Where Flora's green mantle the fields decorate I carelessly wandered where I did not know By the banks of the river that runs near Glencoe. Like Flora, the pride of the Mount Ida had won, there approached me a damsel as bright as the sun, and the ribbons and the tartans all around her did flow. That was once Grace MacDonald, the pride of Glencoe. With courage undaunted, I to her drew nigh, while the red rose and lily on her cheek seemed to buy. I asked her her name and how far she did go. And she answered, be kind, sir, I'm bound for Glencoe. I said, my fair damsel, your enchanting smile and comely fine features was my heart beguiled. And if your fond affections on me would bestow, we would bless the happy hour that we met in Glencoe. That we met in Glencoe. That we met in Glencoe. We would bless the happy hour that we met in Glencoe. 
She said, my fair young man, your suit I disdain. For I once had a sweetheart, MacDonald by name. But he went to the wars about ten years ago. And the maiden I'll remain till he returns to Glencoe. Till he returns to Glencoe. Till he returns to Glencoe. For MacDonald once called me the pride of Glencoe. Perhaps your MacDonald regards not your name and this place his affections on some foreign dame and he may have forgotten for all that you know for the charming young lassie that he met in Lenko. My Donald from his promise would never depart. For true to love and honor are found in his heart. The French and the Spaniards he will soon overthrow. And with splendor he'll return to my arms in Glencoe. When he saw her so faithful, he pulled out a glove that she gave him when parting as a token of love. She flew to his arms while the tears they did flow, saying, You're welcome, home, Donald, to my arms in Glencoe, to my arms in Glencoe, to my arms in Glencoe. Saying you're welcome home, Donald, to my arms in Glencoe. Well, cheer up now, young Flora, your sorrows are o'er. And while life still remains, we will never part more. The red storms of war at a distance may blow, while in peace and contentment we'll bide in Glencoe. Thanks. Oh, Glosha Gajo Achara. No, oh, just knock. Now, Kalina, Ta and Ta, in your uh, absolutely gorgeous stuff, aren't we? Aren't we so lucky? Uh, well, I think at that point, we're just going to take a, a 20 minute break, or sorry, not 20, maybe 10 minute break. Um, I will give you guys the ability to unmute yourselves if you want to have a conversation and say hi. Be warned, you are broadcast live to the world. So watch, <laughs> watch, watch you as their tongues, is all I'll say. Um, you have the ability to unmute yourselves. And just keep an eye on the chat, guys, because I'm going to queue up a few singers to sing the first few songs of the second half. Get a drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, and uh, say hi. Chat to you in a few minutes. Um, Brian, where are you in Wicklow Hills? I'm up here too. Are you? Yeah. Um, I'm in, uh, I can't see who's saying that. But, uh... I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Helen. Oh, hey, how's it going? Um, probably way at the I'm, back. Uh, I'm about halfway between Kilmacanog and Roundwood. Okay, I'm up Claravale, kind of up near. Ah, oh, you're not too far away. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. that was class. I loved the the love token song. The, what was it called again? The, the Pride of Glencoe. Pride of Glencoe. That was class. Um, I found uh, one thing that I found out about that song, um, which I thought was gas, is that the actual area itself, Glencoe, is um, 
is used for filming a lot these days. So it's best known nowadays as the, the location where they filmed the Bridge of Death scene from Monty Python. <laughs> Monty Python and the Holy Grail. <laughs> So, uh, you can always you can visualize the uh, what is your name? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. That's lovely. Thanks, William. Uh, nice one. Hello, Rian. Roshin and Shaw of Rian. Hey, Roshin. She's Jim Go my, go my, boys, let you. Because Neil to Neil to Rowado Macara uh, in Hollywood. Neil to Rowado Hollywood. Neil, Neil, Neil. That's my, that's my Lord, oh yeah. Yeah, Shana Carol, come and show us our walk on Coney in Hollywood. Go a part time show. So how go will she show? He've covered that, but so Jim and Tan say live. Ah, Jesus, good prayer. That's a good prayer. Yeah, yeah. Vima he's well. Vima who's in Ireland or for for family and Rivenolig, but. Um, yeah, to my to my great glory and to my just on show. There's a queue, and you know. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah with the can of the Well, Neil Misha can of be a home of whiskey and blame the like of him. Don't yeah. score knock others near Hannigan go her ash go, go Mars cart, Mar Bavrelum, but bid you the joke she had another seven. So, Tama, Tama in lockdown, Tama in lockdown, Anna Fa, Anna Ada, Le Blame Gillay. <laughs> well, yeah. Ashtach and Rodnach will make Canada, you know, even few yeah, hard people at tea, it was much in there, Neil Manan. I know, yeah, for sure. Chuck a share, Rasher Oshin, gunned out. Yeah, I hope so. I'm like a Jew Jacob Look, Dini Wadney's mass and I'm a hen. Well, Shane, Shane. Yeah, look, who's a but to Canada for it anyway. Rofi Bakum of Rian is Dean Arden. Le COVID in Egypt. Um, near a couple of cars me. Um, Kajisha. So um, the the outbreak the ag hurt the renolog. Um, I guess the couple of them a winter last year just so. Um, the Rodi Kenyal cast the hurt the renolog, but uh, um, I you know to she. It's like what glor spas are there and more. You know the thing, Kmedini me I guess. Shoe look is ready, Mershon, but um, it's like, well, today in Rashan or Nilan, you know, to some quidditch modes and to Nilan, um, to you know, to quidva Shandy in the house and Shin, you know, so um, it's like, well, Golagla war being um, Godarlock, but the old gun, you know, it's rather go outbreak war on and look rather Shin, so um, I'll put Kadisha anyway, you know, more on five to many. That is, yeah, it breaks in chin, really, but, um, yeah, it's in the gazeta. Just, yeah, folks, uh, if you want to keep an eye on the chat bar there, I have uh, prompted a couple of singers uh, to give us the first couple of songs. We've another few minutes yet. Hi, David Ingerson. Haven't haven't seen you in, in, in a good while on these sessions. Great to see your face. You're most welcome. I'm sorry. Were you asking me to sing? Uh, I, not just yes, but, but 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 I will. I was I was saying hello and, and just just ah, welcome you okay. in. <laughs> That's yeah, sorry. I had the volume down. That's okay. That's anyway, okay. It's wonderful to be here. No problem. I see Colm still has his Christmas decorations up. <laughs> My who, Colm? Not giving up yet, Roisin. <laughs> Good man, Colm. <laughs> Johnny Johnson, where are, your, where are your Christmas decorations, Johnny? Unmute yourself, Johnny. Unmute. Unmute, Johnny, come on. I'm never asked to unmute usually, Roshi. I know, not the Johnny I know. <laughs> Great to see you. 
<laughs> Sorry Johnny. to hear about your recent illness. And I know, Johnny. But boys, listen, you boys. got snowdrop. You got snowdrops, Johnny. I did before yours. You devil. Yeah. What's common air? Aren't they fabulous? They're magic. Yeah. 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 Mishnuk Dorka sound. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Can you machine the cannock and Lena? I know, chucky seed. I never succeed with the, with the snowdrops. Yeah, it's Jacker. Wouldn't you be bursting now to sit on a high stool on a pint? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't like to be sitting on a pint, but I, but I, I get your meaning. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody, and somebody in, somebody in the company to play an old tune and sing a song. Sorry, Brian. I'm we got, we, I hear you in the background. <laughs> Brian, we, we got a question on on Facebook. What was the name of the second song you sung? The the Dan Dan McGonagall, Michael McGonagall one. Uh, Castle Gardens. It's called Charlie. Charlie McGonagall. Charlie McGonagall. Early, yeah. I, can't, I can't keep up with all these all these yeah. wonderful McGonagall <laughs> singers. Too many, too many good ones yeah. to, to count. Yeah. Castle Garden was the place where the boats went before they opened uh, Ellis Island. Wow. Yeah, so that's good Castle oh, Garden yeah. was. I was wondering. Yeah. To whomever asked that song out in Facebook land, there's your answer, Castle Garden. <laughs> Uh, okay, folks, uh, we'll kick off the second half. Um, I'm just I'm curious. We, we have an especially big group in this evening, and I know I won't get to everybody, uh, but if we can get to as many people as possible, that would be most preferable. So I'll just try and mute all there. Perfect. Okay, uh, first up in the second half, we're going to get Justina Kozmulsak. I'm sorry, I've, I've absolutely butchered your surname, Justina. Uh, Justina sang a, a few months back, and she described what she does as Polish Shannos, and it was absolutely wonderful then. So uh, I expect no less. Justina, I've asked to unmute you. Okay. You, Justina? Hi. <laughs> I've got one Irish for you, though. That's <laughs> for fine. Today, That's fine. For the, with the birthday dedication. <laughs> it's not exactly a birthday song, but it can be... Uh, Listen this one, <laughs> short one, because there's many of us tonight. Here I am amongst you, and I'm here because I'm here, and I'm only 12 months older than I was this time last year. Aye, with me too, aye, with me too, aye, with me too, aye, aye. All the day, the little raye, the little raye, you raye. Oh, never throw a brick to a drowning man if you're close to a grocery store. Just throw him a bar of sunlight soap, let him wash himself ashore, raye. With me too, raye, with me too, raye, with me too, raye, you raye. All the day, the little raye, the little raye, you raye. Oh, early to bed, early to rise, it's a saying I don't think true. For how in the hell can a man go to bed if he has none to go to? Why, with me too, Raye, with me too, Raye, with me too, Raye, you Raye. Fall the day, little to Raye, little to Raye, you Raye. Oh, the more a man has, the more a man wants, is a saying I don't think true. Cause I never know a man with a one black eye that he wished that he had to aye. With me too, raye, with me too, raye, with me too, raye, raye. Fall the day, the little raye, the little raye, raye. So here I stand amongst you, as I'm here because I'm here, and I'm only 12 months older than I was this time last year, raye. With me too, raye, with me too, raye, with me too, raye, raye. Fall the day, little too, raye, little too, raye, raye. Hey! Lovely stuff, Justina. <laughs> I, I think I think your phone's ringing there as yeah, well. It was. Just, just in the nick of time. Nick of time. <laughs> Great stuff. Thanks. Great stuff. Happy okay. birthday. <laughs> uh, as we were mentioning in a show just now, we'll go to the. Uh, the, who I would humbly think of as the king and queen of Inishon, though not uh, though the one married in and, and one and one from there originally. We'll go over to uh, Grace and Brian. I'll have asked to unmute you there. You have to accept my unmuting. Heirs to the throne, if not the king and queen. Uh, come on, the dubs. A dub in Inishon. Hi. How are you, folks? Oh well. It's very, and thank you very much. And great to 
great to be here. Um, yeah, so the queen of any show is going to sing here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Tendy Regan loved his whiny courted her. He loved her dear as he loved his life. Her father gave him twenty guineas the night that Ted made her his wife. Right to Ralura lay, do right to Ralura Lura lay. Right to Ralura lay, do right to Ralura Lura lay. Teddy loved these darling whiny things went on exceeding well until the slender waist of whiny in the course of time began to swell right to Ralura lay do right and the Lura Lura lay right to Ralura lay do right and the Lura Lura lay. Teddy went to fetch the midwife and the neighbors on the way. Knocking at the doors and windows, he told them to make no delay, right? To Ralura lay, do right, to Ralura Lura lay, right? To Ralura lay, do right, to Ralura Lura lay. Nora, Sisley, and her mother unto her assistance came. Nora, Sisley, and her mother, but I forget the sister's name, right? To Ralura lay, do right, to Ralura Lura lay, right. To Ralura lay, do right, to Ralura Lura lay. When the humble it was over and she was laid snug in bed, a mishagrole it was got ready, it was then she began to the Axford head, right. To Ralura lay, do right, to Ralura Lura lay, right. To Ralura lay, do right, to Ralura Lura lay. Nora says, Why do you stand gape and lend a handboat one and all? Oh, lend a handboat one and all. Just then young Ted began to bawl, right? To Ralura lay, do right, to Ralura Lura lay, right? To Ralura lay, do right, to Ralura Lura lay. What have you done with my poor Teddy? Make for him a cup of tea. Get for Teddy something ready, for I'll need Ted some other day. Right to Ralura lay, do right to the Lura Lura lay. Right to Ralura lay, do right to the Lura Lura lay. Eddie Butcher. Oh, <laughs> will we ever find out the sister's name? No. <laughs> you think you think the songwriter could have researched that before publishing the lyrics or something? <laughs> sure, look, sure, listen. What have you got for us, Grace? Right. Well, I'm I'm going to do a, a, another McGonagall family song, but not that McGonagall. This is from Dan McGonagall, who was from the Isle of Do, um, and very close to here. Um, and uh, it's Dan's version of the Banks of the Nile. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, hark, the drums are beating, love, we can no longer stay. The bugle sweetly sounding, this call I can't obey. We are ordered out of Portsmouth. For many is the long mile to go join the British army on the banks of the Nile. Oh, Willie, dearest Willie, don't leave me here to mourn. For I would curse and rue the day that ever I was born. For the parting of my own sweetheart, it's the parting of my life. 
So stay at home, dear Willie, and I will be your wife. And I'll cut off my yellow locks and go along with you. I will dress myself in men's attire and go to Egypt too. I will fight and bear your banner while kind comfort seems to smile. And we will comfort one another on the banks of the Nile. Oh, Annie, dearest Annie, such things cannot be so. For our Colonel, he's give orders, no women there can go. We must forsake our own sweethearts, the protection of our soil, and go join the British army on the banks of the Nile. Your waist it is to slender love, your fingers are too small. I'm afraid you would not answer me when on you I would call. Your delicate constitution would not bear an unwholesome claim. For there are cold and sandy death Search on the banks of the Nile. A curse attend the war, and the day it first began. For it robbed now of old Ireland, of many's the darling son. Well, it took from us our own sweethearts the protection of our soil. And their bodies feeds the warrens on the banks of the Nile. Uh, but now the war is over and it's home we will return. We will greet our wives and sweethearts and never cease to mourn. We will embrace them in our arms until the day we die. And we will go no more to battle on the banks of the night. Damn, we're gonna go. Beautiful stuff, both of you. It's a pleasure, joy to hear you both. And uh, you're welcome back any third Saturday of the month. We're here every month. Right. Thanks a million. Thanks a million, Tara. Right to have you. Oh dear. Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead with uh, Agnesi now. Agnesi, I'm going to unmute you. Oh, we have you. How are you, Agnesi? Good, thank you. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Uh, are you uh, okay. Are you in, still in Dublin, Agnesi? Yes. Okay, you, ha you, ha you ha haven't abandoned us yet. Yeah, but I'm quarantining because I came back from Italy, so I oh, had okay. to for two weeks. Okay. So no I'm fully locked down. A great time to be on a Zoom session. Thank you. 
I once loved a boy, a bunny, bunny boy, and I loved him a poem protest. I loved him so well, so very, very well, that I built him a bar and my breath. He was a peregrine, funny and on a green hill, like when I was troubled in mind. I prayed and I shouted and I played upon my pipe, but no boy could I find. So I set myself down on a green mossy bank Where the sunshine wonderful And should I spy by my harmony boy First lurked in some other girl's Now the girl who's the joy of my harmony boy, let her make of him all that she can, and whether he loves me or whether he don't, I will be that boy now and then. Lovely stuff, Agnesi. Thanks so much. And uh, keep keep safe over those next few weeks of your quarantine, all right? We don't want you going mad or anything like that. Uh, okay, uh, our next singer I did send a message to, but I'm not sure if you saw it. Declan Coyne. I attempted to give you a warning. We'll see. If you can unmute yourself. We have you, Declan. Yep. Are you fit for and a song? I shall we try one. Perfect. <clears throat> I'm after changing my mind, which is should never do, but uh, I'll have, we'll have a bash. Um, the John Keegan Casey song, uh, Costello's Lament. We were talking about John Keegan Casey a while ago, Tara, so. Uh, the plains of Mayo. The wild deer wanders free. The summer shines in glory, but shine it not for me. I feel breeze at twilight. I see no light at dawn. But I'll sing a dream of sorrow for my darling Noam. The light is quenched forever now in proud MacDonald's Hall. The harp sounds hushed all lonely within its towers tall. The banshee to the brown stream forevermore doth call. But my true love ne'er shall waken from 
her colder chubby trough. Along the plains of Mayo, the wild deer swiftly springs. Along the plains Kings of Mayo, the hunting bugle rings. My gallant steed is restless, for my strong hand is on the reins. But his prancing who will never touch the hunting ground. My sword is rusty in its sheath, it whose lands flashed dead to many a lion foe of brave and generous friends. The raven from my true love's neck twines round its hilt of gold, but the snowy hand that placed it there is pulseless now and cold. I he rode with joy and gladness over heathy hill and plain. I rode in grief and madness on my homeward way again. For I saw the snow white ruckus Tremble coldly in the night, and my heart grew dark as rain clouds when the stars refuse their light. I wear within my doublet. A bright love of her hair that she gave me when we parted from her tresses curling fair. Tis all I have to soothe my woe throughout the coming year. Tis all I have to bear away the traces of my tears. Oh, bring me back my own true love and place her by my side. As on the harvest evening, when I asked her for my bite, then all the lords of Connacht, their fearless riding men, would fail to take my darling from my loving arms again. I get my brave steed ready and I ride far, far away. I'll get my brave steed ready and I ride the live long day until I find my own trail in Kilmacken even gray 
another plug of flower from its flowers and kiss her cold, cold clay. We got through it. Mighty stuff, Declan. Mighty stuff. I once, I once heard someone, someone describe a singer as honey in a gravel pot, and I think uh, that would that would suit you down to the ground as well. Great to hear you, Declan, and great to see you. And... More like gravel in a honey pot. <laughs> either way, either way. Yeah. Great on the ears. Uh, great stuff, Declan. Thanks, okay. thanks Sarah. No worries. Uh, we are going to head over to Canada now to hear Marie Hamilton. Hi, Marie. I'm going to ask to unmute you now. How are you, Marie? Good, how are you? Not too bad at all. Have you got a song for us? I do, believe it or not. One second, let me just make Take sure the microphone's working well. Um, can you hear me? Can indeed. Brilliant. Um, hi, everybody. I, um, I'm in Montreal, and I thought I would sing an Acadian song today. Um, for those of you who don't know who the Acadians are, um, they're a group of people who settled in Eastern Canada in the 17th, 18th century um, on the lands of, like the traditional home of the Mi'kmaq people. Um, they're French speaking, yet they are ethnically and culturally distinct from the Quebecois and other um, Francophone communities in Canada. And in the mid 1700s, uh, during the uh, French and Indian War, the British, um, just suspected that they were siding with the Quebecois and the French. Um, and so they put them all on boats, killed a lot of people, burned their farms, um, sent them back to France, sent them all over, um, including down to Louisiana, which um, the Cajun people are the uh, descendants of the Acadians. Um, and the song I'm going to sing tonight, it's called Tu Pas, which means everything passes. And it was one of the songs that they would sing as they would walk out to the boats and be in the holds of these boats, being separated from their homelands, from their loved ones. Um, and it's an homage to the impermanence of things and the fragility of life. Um, it's very beautiful. I'll, I'll, I'll share uh, the lyrics afterwards. If anyone speaks French, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll do a little translation. So yeah. Sous le fermement, tout n'est que changement. Tout passe. Et quoi que l'on ne fasse, les jours se vont courant, plus vite que notre rang, tout passe. S'il est une vérité, oh mille éternités, tout passe. Faisons valoir la grâce, le temps est précieux. Tandis que sous nos yeux tout passe Les petits, les grands, les charges et les rangs tout passe Chacun prend une place puis disparaît un jour Dans ce mortel séjour tout passe Comme le vaisseau qui glisse au loin sur l'eau, tout passe. Il n'en est plus de traces, ainsi vont les honneurs, les biens et les grandes, tout passe. Je ne sais beauté, plaisir, force et santé, tout passe. Tout se flétrit, se fasse, rien ne résiste au temps. Comme une fleur de chant, tout passe. 
Sous le firmament, tout n'est que changement de passe. Et quoi que l'on ne fasse, les jours seront courants. Plus vite que notre rente passe. That's it. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful stuff, Marie. Do you, do you, do you want to give us a, a brief translation? Oh, yes. I think I'll write it out and I'll put it cool. in the chat. Yeah, yeah. That way I don't no, take I, up too much I was, time. I was just, it just reminded me of the, when you said that the, the phrase to pass, everything passes. This is an expression in Irish. Uh, Neil in Enrod ak shall. So uh, there's nothing in anything but a while. And it's been, it's been evoked a lot recently. <laughs> the the, oh, the idea yeah, of, no. things, of, of things imminently passing. Whenever that time <laughs> yes, absolutely. Beautiful singing, Marie. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. We're going to move over now to Helen McNulty. Helen, I've asked to unmute you. Helen, are you there? Oh, we have you. Helen, how are you? Good. Thanks. Thanks, Star, for um, squeezing me in. <laughs> no worries at all. What have you got for us? I'm going to sing. I was going to sing a love song because it's... Uh, it's our anniversary, but I'm not going to do that because I really like sad songs. So I'm going to sing. Um, <laughs> You're in the right place. <laughs> I'm going to sing uh, the B Blantyre Explosion. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I'm a bit, ru I haven't sang it in a while, so um, I'm a bit rusty. So. Mm -hmm. By Clyde's Bonnie Banks. As I sadly did wander near the village of Blantyre, as the evening drew nigh, I spied a fair maiden all dressed in deep mourning. She was weeping and wailing with many the sigh. I stepped up to her and thus I addressed her. Pray tell me, fair maid, of your sorrow and pain. With sobbing and sighing, at last she gave answer. Johnny Murphy, kind sir was me true lover's name. Twenty-one years of age, full of youth and good looking, to work down the mines of Blantyre he came. The wedding was fixed, all the guests were invited. But that warm summer's evening, my Johnny was slain. The explosion was heard all the women and children with pale anxious faces they hissed to the mind when the truth was made known the hills rang with their mourning Two hundred and ten young miners were slain. The month of October, I long will. 
remember in its full health and strength to his labors did go. But on that fateful morning without any warning two hundred and ten in cold death were laid low but the spring it will come with the flowers of the summer that bloom in the whiteness so lovely and fair sorry I missed a bit I have to go back well they say it's not fit for the dead to be grieving but there's nothing but sorrow bestowed upon me He's gone from the world but a short time before me and I hope I'll join him in eternity. Got fairly mixed up there, but that's it. Lovely stuff, Helen. That, that's that, that's a wonderful anniversary present now to, to you. To your better <laughs> yeah. No, I, that that sounds facetious. I don't mean it to. That was lovely. Thank I'll you. lay him low. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, that sounded wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. <laughs> right, folks, well, uh, we'll have one more song before uh, heading over to our guest. I tried to warn her via message. I'm not sure if she saw it. Reza Gallagher, if you would sing for us before we head back to Brian, that would be great of us. We have you, Reza. How are you? I'm good, Dara. How are you? I've, I've, be, I've been worse. I've been better. <laughs> and happy birthday. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to sing a song called uh, Dark is the Colour. Dark is the colour of my true love's hair. Her face is like some rose so fair. The slenderest waist and the neatest hand. I adore the ground where on she stands. I went to the clay to mourn and weep, but satisfied I never could sleep. I wrote a letter in a few short lines. I suffered death a thousand times. So I lay me down and I wrote this song I wrote it neat and I wrote it long and with every line I shed a tear and the last said a farewell my dear 
So fare thee well, my own true love. I thought you were as true as the stars above. But of pleasure. treat you as you've treated me. Now the winter is past and the fields they are green. The time has come that we have seen. But still I know the time will come when you and I shall be as one. Janet? Oh, my mighty stuff, Reva. Do you, do you know, if you, if you kept at this, you might have a future in this, I reckon. <laughs> I'll keep going. <laughs> Great stuff, Reva. Okay, Thomas Kondola Rash, Gadin E. Specialta, Brian McGlynn, Brian Ivalovic Tuhane. Unmute yourself. We have you. Brian, how are you? God almighty, that was something else. Um, it's uh, It's been such a pleasure to listen to absolutely everybody tonight, I think. It, I'd pay to see any one of you. Um, it's been so nice to to be in on this. Um, um, I'm not sure what to sing first. I'm, I'm going to try squeeze in as much as as many little short songs as I can. Um, I think um, this is one that I I might sing one that I learned from uh, the singer of Sean McDonough. Um, I uh, I lived in a house in Stony Batter in Dublin for a good few years. That many of you have been back to um, after nights in the cobblestone or Walsh's and that um, and it's a uh, it kind of became the unofficial lock-in after the cobblestone for a good while I think but um, the one thing that I found out after I moved out of that house is that it was actually um, maybe some of you know Fiacra Meek he's a great singer and musician from who I knew as being from Dundalk but it turned out that Fiacra actually grew up in that house um, and Fiacra's grandmother was Diane Hamilton, the, the great collector of singing um, in the States who recorded so many great Irish singers. And um, there was one album that I had that she was a collection of her recordings called The Lark in the Morning. Um, and so I learned this um, off that record. Um, it's a song called The Whistling Thief. Um, it's a kind of an elaborate um, an elaborate lesson, um, basically, um, of how to tell the difference between a, a fiddle, a dog, and a man. So, <clears throat> there's Pat come over the hills, Colleen fair to see, a whistle so loud and shrill, a signal sure to be. Oh, Mary, listen now. There's somebody whistling, sure. Oh, mother, tis only the wind, you know. Whistling through the door, me follow the larla. 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 I've lived a long time, Mary, in this old house for years. But the wind to whistle like that, I never yet did hear. But mother, you know the fiddle hangs close beside the chink. And the wind upon the strings is playing a tune. I think me follow the lara la, me follow the lara la, me follow the lara la, me follow the lara la. 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 The dog is barking now. The fiddle can't play the tune, but mother, you know they say dogs bark when they see the moon. But how can he see the moon, girl, when he is old and blind? Blind dogs don't bark at the moon, and fiddles don't play with the wine. Me follow the lara la, 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 
I never hear a pig on lazy in its mind. But mother, you know, they say that pigs can see the wine. Well, that's true enough by day. But then you may remark that pigs no more than we can see anything in the dark. Me father, the la la la. 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 Well, I'm not such a fool as you think. I know really well it's his path. Go home, you whistle and thief, and do get away with that. And you go into bed. Don't you play upon me your jeers. For though I've lost my sight, I haven't lost my ears. Me father, the la la la. 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 So lads, when court and go, and to your sweethearts wait. Take care not to whistle too loud in case the old woman might wake. For in the days when I was young, well, forget it, I never can. I came to know the difference between a fiddle, a dog, and a man. Me father, the la la la. 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 A little, 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 Yeah, um, thanks. Um, wondering what to sing next now. Oh, uh, <laughs> I might sing, I might sing a song that um, maybe it'd be good if everybody could be unmuted actually um, for this next one because it might be a good one to join in on. It's um, a really old song that um, I learned from from my mother and that uh, my mother would have learned from her family as well. It's sung all over though. There's many, many versions of this sung all over the place. Um, I'd like to sing this uh, just quickly for, for Dara there. So it goes, um, happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday. Haven't a note in your head. You know, you'd think we were all just sitting around the one the one table there now. <laughs> um, well, anyway, I'm going to carry on with a, a very, very sad song about death. <laughs> just to, yeah. Um, this is a this is a song that I I learned a few years ago from. I got this version of it from a book called The Legendary Ballads of England and Scotland, um, and it's. This is one that's sung all over, um, but uh, there's a, a version of it that my friend Andrew Early um, used to sing as well, um, and he called it the Rocks Around Gibraltar. Um, I'm going to sing this for Andrew. Um, I miss him so much, I'm thinking of him every time I sing a song these days. So it's, um, anyway, this is the Lowlands of Holland. So. Mm. Round the love that I chosen, I'm there with the content. The salt sea shall be frozen before that I repent. Repent it shall I never. Until the day I die, for the lowlands of all lands, that's why my love and I, my love lies in the salt sea, and I am on the side. Enough to break a young thing's heart While lately was a bride 
while was a body bright and pleasure in her eyes for the rocks around Gibraltar I'll twine my law and I my lovely built a bonny ship and set her on the sea with seven score good mariners for to bear her company but the weary winds began to rise and the seas began to rouse. And my love then and lives by ship turned with her shins about. Well, there shall neither cough come on my head, nor comb come through my hair. There shall neither coal nor candle light shine in my bower mare, nor will I love another one until the day I die. For the rocks around Gibraltar I'll swing my low and I will have your tongue, my daughter dear. Be still and be content. There are mere lads in Galloway, you need no sermon. Oh, there are men in Galloway, there's men that are for me. For I never loved Galloway, but one, and he's drowned in the sea. Yeah, he's there now. It's for Andrew Early. Um, might sing a, might sing a quick one, um, from Rosh Um, this is a another song that's kind of common enough. It'll be sung all over the place, and I even le I learned it in school when I was a kid. But this is a an Iron Moore version of it, which is kind of peculiar, and uh, it's a. Uh, it's funny to be sitting on my own in a silent room, like, um, you know, and not hearing everybody um, and kind of seeing everybody and kind of just the whole, everything else that happens, you know, the, the things that kind of connect us up when we're all sitting around a room together um, singing. But it's, uh, this is one of those, one of those songs that uh, I actually find hard to sing in, <laughs> in sessions sometimes because I think people know so many similar versions of it, so. I'm taking advantage of that. <laughs> anyway, so this is called Neil Shanala. Oh, it's kind of a, a song that's saying the night's not over, basically. So, well, I really hear it is not quite grow a master wally. Leon Lucy Cartage, Shotter Jimmy at Freewadin. Il shanala na na la, il shanala na no arin. Il shanala ni vega fall, on in shakur a jir in yala. Well shana mogi shana joggi shana party ni lontul yana. Well mono ala targa de do foki for a board is gone wala. Il shanala na na la, il shanala na no ardin. Il shanala ni vega cord, o ni shakur o jirin gala. Well, quirbam alabus jama foka, 
Darling man, ye smoke hard on yarrow. Shade the lumps of vanity. You're the cart of Gajin Galley. Need Sunderland, I know that. Need Sunderland, I know what he. Need Sunderland, he vague for Lonnie and Shepherd, or dear in Yabba. Need Sunderland, I know that. Need Sunderland, I know what he. Neil Sonola, ni vega for Onil Shepherd, O Dirigala. You know, I wish uh, I'll get to sing that with you some stage, Roshin, when your voice is back. <laughs> but but uh, this is, um, I'm not, not sure if I can, I'll fit in, I'll fit in a, a quick one. And, a quick second one maybe as well. Do you reckon, Tara? Is that right? Quinnegard. Sounds. Um, this is a, another Aaron Moore song, um, one that I learned from a, a woman called Biddy Jo O'Donnell. Um, and she was recorded back in 1977 by Hugh Shields. Um, and I recently got to do a, a project for the Traditional Music Archive for the ITMA. Um, and it was largely to do with those tapes. Um, so this is a, it's a really well-known song and I, I truly wish I was able to hear you all, um, but I uh, sure we'll do it at some stage. Um, this is a, a kind of a different take on this well-known song, a um, bit of a different twist and a different melody. Um, it's a version of Once I Loved, the way that, uh, from Biddy Joe, the owner. So. Once I loved her with fond affection All his thoughts they were on me Until a dark girl did persuade him And then he thought no more of me now he's happy with another The one that has bright gold in store T'was in that cause my heart to plunder I am left all alone because I am poor he can go and leave me if he wishes. Never let him cross my mind. Lord, if he thinks me so unworthy, he can go and leave me. Never mind. Well, it's many as an idol with him I rambled, and many as the night with him I spent. I thought my heart was mine forever, for now. Oh, I see was only land. It's many as a night when he is sleeping and thinking on his sweet repose. And thy poor child, quite broken hearted. Listening to the wine that blows, he can go and leave me if he wishes. Never let him cross my mind, and if he thinks me. So unworthy, 
He can go and leave me, never mind. Well, farewell, friends and kind relations. Farewell to him, that false young man. Twas him that caused my pains and sorrows never to return again. He can go and leave me if he wishes. Never let him cross my mind. Or if he thinks me so unworthy, he can go and leave me, never mind. Did he join you on? No, no. I don't know what to do now. To honest, thanks a million, Dara. Um, um, and to the Shame Sennis Art Center and um, for inviting me in to sing here. It's been so nice to to have something to kind of look forward to this past couple of weeks. Um, and uh, great to hear you all singing and great to see you and to see uh, see some familiar faces and even if you are wherever you are. Um it's great to great to see you anyway. Um I might uh I might sing a really, really sad song. Would that be all right? <laughs> I mean, this is pulling out all the stops. Like, but um, it's a uh, this is a um, this is a song that uh, I learned from my friend Andrew Early, who, who passed away um, back in November, and it's one that Andrew learned from from Rosh Arua when he was a young lad, um, a young boy, and uh, I. I heard Andrew singing it so many times and I thought for years that it was a like a modern country song or something that he learned out in Chicago. Um, and then it was only one day that I actually asked him where he learned it from, that he told me he learned it from Russia. And then um, it was sung to me out in the show uh, one day by Annie um, in the in the North Pole. And uh, so I, I got another verse off her. There's still a couple more I have to get off her again anyway. Um, this is a song called No One to Welcome Me Home and uh, it really is very sad I'm terribly sorry <laughs> sure what can you do um, thanks so much everybody for coming in and singing and listening and all that it's great to be part of this anyway and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll all be back in a room together at some stage before too long so anyway my dear mother stood on the queen's town dog with a handkerchief up to her eyes. And as the big ship sailed away with the tide, it was then that she started to cry. Saying, my son, you are gone to a strange foreign land, and you're leaving your old folk alone. And when you return to the land of your birth, there'll be no one to welcome you home. No one to welcome you home far away, far away o'er the dark raging foam. No father, no mother, how sadly I'll roam. I'll have no one to welcome me home. Well, it's off times, I think. On that little white house in old Ireland, far over the sea, 
that little white house at the foot of the hill where my mother sat waiting for me. Saying, my son, you are gone to a strange foreign land and you're leaving your old folk alone. And when you return to the land of your birth, there'll be no one to welcome you home. No one to welcome you home. Far away, far away, o'er the dark raging foam. No father, no mother, how sadly I rose. I love no one to welcome me home. And it's then in the twilight I wander alone. Far away from the old house of yours. Fatherless, motherless, sadly I'll roam. I have no one to welcome me home. No one to welcome me home. Far away. Far away o'er the dark raging foam. No father, no mother, how sadly I roam. I have no one to welcome me home. For me, I'm happy. Stand the good span, the your fat, and the joy. Thank you. Well done, Brian. Well done, sir. Lovely. Beautiful. Well, folks, uh, we do have another couple of minutes left just, just before we close the door uh, all together. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll just uh, get a couple of songs squeezed in in that time. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we'll get a chance to get to everybody. Um, if that is the case, Please don't take it personally. If you come back next month and just make us aware of the fact that we missed you, we will make a priority out of you. Uh, no problem. So I did send a message to John Weens to sing the uh, first song after Brian, but he mightn't have seen it. I see a surprised look on John's face, so uh, that might be the case. But if he would uh, like to unmute and sing a song, he'd be most welcome. John, have you oh. sung in you? Uh, I, I'm surprised, but sure. Um, I'm here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, yeah, um, sure. Take your time, take your time. We're caught in the Yeah, hole. um. I wish I were in my love's arms. I wish I were in my to pipe all ponies in my pocket rolling round and round the fair Berlin is low was green and open on that morning coming down There sat rosy tales of fortunes Crossed my palm with half of a crown Rosy, rosy, rosy Riley Rosy, rosy, Riley <laughs> I held Rosy in my arms. That's right. I held Rosy in my arms at the fair of Valinus Law. 
I didn't know she had a husband, a far bigger man than me. I didn't know that he had two brothers just as big and as bad as he. Rosie, Rosie, Rosie Riley. Rosie, Rosie Riley. Oh, I have Rosie in my arms at the fair of Ballinus I saw my brothers throwing bottles. I saw my father on the ground. I saw myself with my head wide open. Rosy Riley, where are you now? Rosy, Rosy, Rosy Riley. Rosy, Rosy Riley, oh, I have. At the fair of Thanks. Lovely stuff, John. Is, is this your first time tuning in with us? Uh, I, I, I was at one of the monthlies once before. Um, okay. But yeah, I was. This is um, fresh. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Thanks so much. It was, it was wonderful. Thank you very much for singing that for us. Thank you for the uh, opportunity. No problem. Okay, uh, next up we're going to have Johnny Johnston. Johnny, I'm going to ask to unmute you. How are you, Johnny? Good, Dara, thanks. What have you got for us? Okay. Great to hear Banala Slow mentioned in a song. <laughs> so it's Bantri um, Lachariach, or Their Maids of Lachariach. Okay. And happy birthday. The war of one is a bill of grass. Is to Karadin Mukri, where the Yaslav we mayanin. No, me what he made you me. Martin of in him and is an chanan wonaia now let in the blowness love father of his dream oh my bon sit by my side my joy and heart's delight Oh, lay your head upon me, for I won't sleep an eye, for I swim the river shore, and the shannon after thee, if I could be in love with Long day and year is me hurden shama couple, not a number and no go Nigun 
ਫਾਰ ਕੇ ਨੀ ਬਰਾਸਾ ਨਾਚਰ ਮਰੇ ਯਕ ਮੇ ਨਾਫੀਆ ਨਾ ਵਦਨ ਬਾ ਇਕਲਾਉਨਸ ਲਾ ਫਾਦਾ ਅਦਿਸ ਬਲੀਮ and i wouldn't give my heart or the brighter that steers not all the ships that anchor all within this year or the fields and the meadow where we of times chase the deer if i could be in love with you for all day and year ਸੰਗਮਲਾਮ ਸਾ ਪੋਟਮਾ ਨੰਮਾਲਿਆ ਲਖਰੀਆਂ ਆਦਸ ਮੀ ਨਾ ਬਰਾਸ਼ੀ ਤਾ ਨੋ ਗਾਰ ਜੀਨੀ ਬਾਤਲੀਆ but which i have my your him allah goes mohniyan bavedan da glonis la la pada agizdim nan devayo and then baratoon and then rings the visions and then doblan all around oh it's to you i would give them and for your sake my dear if i could be in love with you long day and year unto magraga kanamara marzaun abiyo kanagra agaston jehen asdoni nad veketrish mabro khora dana nadiya khadran early of war nadwa mihe antanas he khni me akan ba sahani rolwa am bring me out to kanamara for it is a sporting place oh so do you my valentine i long to see your face the blazes and the grasses all where we of times give alone Oh, I'll return to you again, my own Ansaliro. Jene. Thanks very much, Johnny. You are in fine voice this evening. Remarkable. If, if you don't mind me saying. Uh, okay. Lani mid arai le oran o Gemma Khawaja. We'll go ahead with uh, a song from Gemma Khawaja. Gemma, I've asked to unmute you. 
we have you. Gemma, how are you? I'm all right. How are you doing? Not too bad, not too bad. Have you got a song for us? I do. It's sadly not a birthday song for you, Dara. It's, That's okay. Um... I've probably, someone said in the chat, I'm probably milking it a bit at this stage, so, <laughs> so don't worry. Oh, good, because uh, I've got a grim, a grim song of Murder Most Foul for you instead. Perfect. <laughs> In Worcester City there lived a damsel Oh, the truth to you I will tell She by a servant man was courted Who of times told her he loved her well She loved him too, but at a distance for he did not seem to be very fond Well, for your fondness and unconstant fairness I soon shall end your sweet tender life A little after this my young damsel Was invited to a ball you know this wicked young man did follow after all to prepare for her overthrow as she was dancing all with another jealousy did fill his mind so to destroy his own true lover this wicked young man he was inclined so quickly he did prepare some poison and mix it with a glass of wine and gave it to his own true lover she drank it with a most fearful mind a little after this fair young damsel oh take me home my dear said she for the liquor that you have lately gave me don't make me very ill indeed as they was walking along together these words unto her he did say i gave you poison all in your liquor all for to take your sweet life away and i have drunk of the same my jewel i soon shall die as well as thee so in each other's arms they died young men beware of jealousy thank you very much we, we, we will be sure to be very wary of jealousy from this point <laughs> forward thank you so much Emma. that was great <laughs> cool uh okay we just have two more songs left folks uh, the first one from simon oak uh over in the netherlands i believe simon i've asked to unmute you hi there how are, are you, you doing, Simon? Where exactly are you right now? That's that's quite the backdrop. Uh, that's NMO, actually. Oh, yeah. In, the, I, in, in Wicklow. I, I, I don't know where Brian is, but uh, he might know this place, NMO. So actually, I changed my songs uh, twice. And uh, my background, uh, this is about uh, a little uh, village called NMO. And uh, a man uh, died from this place. And the neighbors, they asked to write a song about him and his place because he wanted to put NMO on the map. Yeah. No, no offense, Simon, but I think there are much nicer photos of NMO than that. No, no. This is <laughs> this is the broken alley wall. This is the the <laughs> look. This isn't this isn't a, a broken alley wall. I'll, I'll just... take your I'll take your word for it. <laughs> um. Okay. Here we go. 
If you visit the mountains of Wicklow one day, there's a village you cannot ignore. Where the clear crystal water streams swell on their way down the slopes to fill the even more. You'll find warm kitchen tables with tea, milk and more and a shelter to wait for the sun. Lend an ear to the stories about the days of yore and of how the people here have fun. Take the long road from Dublin to Magic Landalock, and when Roundwood has bid you farewell, there a lost a church where no longer people flock, show you stones of those that tried so well. And when you come to the bridge or the river in Chavor, have a look at that broken alley wall. Uh, <laughs> that's where the boys like Leon Hawkins, the Curleys and the Burns long ago were masters of the ball. Oh, wherever you want to go, once you've been to Animo, your life will never be the same as before. Animo, you're in my heart, and the very day we part, I long to be with you again. Buy a horse, buy a horse, brass medallion at that little antique shop, Nose around, have a chat and a tea. The doctor's house, the old forge, all places were to stop, catch a rainbow at the trout fishery. You might see the tractor run or the pure mile crawl, explore the hills on a bike on a, or a horse. Meditate or play a ball in an Amos community hall, you'll get caught, there will be no remorse. Oh, wherever you want to go, once you've been to an MO, your life will never be the same as before. An MO, you're in my heart, and the very day we part, I long to be with you again. From the scar, the Ballina, Corbeck, and Troopers, Town Hill, be amazed by the wild blooming scene. Overwhelmed by its beauty, you'll enjoy a mighty thrill that's an ammo. You'll know what I mean. Oh, wherever you go, once you've been to an ammo, your life will never be the same as before. An ammo, you're in my heart, and the very day we part, I long to be with you again. Oh. <laughs> mighty mighty stuff Simon. Mean, i'd never heard that one that's a brilliant song uh, i don't think i'll be the same again after hearing the song let alone visiting the place but brilliant, brilliant. thanks so much okay folks well that just about brings us uh to an end um as always uh with these sessions um we do uh just make a, a small announcement at the end that if you are out there in the world and uh, you are a fan of uh, supporting the arts and haven't been too badly financially hit by the pandemic. Uh, the Seamus Arts Art Centre do leave a link in the chat bar of the Zoom session and the chat in uh, the video out on Facebook as well. Um, whatever the session is worth to you, if you have it to spare, if that's a few quid uh, that you would have paid on a, a pint or a taxi or a bus home uh, to it, if you have it to spare, um, it will go a long way to supporting the arts in a very, very challenging time. And yes... Without further ado, I will ask Bridget Delaney to unmute to sing us the final song of the evening. Bridget, we have you. And she will squeeze in one more happy birthday to you, Mac Why not? <laughs> I don't think that's necessary, but if you had a song, that would be the best birthday present I, I could envision. It's just been a fantastic night, and thanks to everybody. Thanks to Brian. Your singing was just probably no words for it really it was just beautiful um i'm going to um i'll try and sing the wind shakes the barley <clears throat> as the night gets on you know the voices get dry so <laughs> it's not great now <clears throat> 
I sat within a valley green. I sat there with my true lover. My sad heart throb to choose between the old love and the new love. The old far harder the new that made me think on Ireland. While south and the wind blew down the glen and shook the golden barley. Once heard the woeful words to frame to break in the chains that bound us and was harder still to bear the shame of foreign chains around us and so said I Next morning early, and I'll join the brave united men while soft winds shook the parley. While sad I kiss away her tears, my fond arms around her clinging, a full man shall burst on our ears from out the wild. A bullet pierced my true love's side in life's young spring so early, and on my breast in blood she died while soft winds choked the parley. I bore her to the wild woods green, and many the summer blossom, and I placed the with branches thick and green around her in bosom. I wept and kissed her pale, pale cheeks, then rushed o'er veil or darkly. My vengeance on the foot of while soft winds shook the parley. But blood for blood without remorse, I taken that owler hollow, and I And around her grave I'll wander.
Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff, Bridget, and everyone this evening. This was an especially good night uh, among many good nights. Just uh, let's give an extra uh, show of appreciation for Brian McGlynn, our wonderful guest this evening. Bemi Jarash, Erin Triu, Saturn, if you will be back on the third Saturday in February with the uh, wonderful Rosie Stewart as a guest. Um, and yeah, listen, folks, been an absolute pleasure as always. Slán agus Iche. Wow. You can unmute yourself and say bye if you so wish. Bye. 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 Thanks, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, Beautiful, Brian. Caramel, yeah. Thanks, Thanks. Mike. Thanks, million. That was bye, fantastic. Bye, everybody. Thank Goodbye. you from Somerset. Oh. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Slán. Slán, Marianne. Ha, ha, ha. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye.